The following toy video features a free product sample pack from Play Monster. Thank you, Play Monster, for sending Squirrel Stampede these new My Singing Monsters for free. All thoughts and opinions on these toys are squirreled. Squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel. 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 Hey, everybody. Come on, let's go. Squirrel Stampede. Please like and subscribe. Whoa, this is going to sound funny. Woo. Well, here we are on the table today with a very special toy pack to go on into. My Singing Monsters has collectible monster toys now. I am a longtime fan and player of this game. It is not uncommon for me to be singing some sort of My Singing Monster monster song in the house. There are so many catchy tunes. And now Play Monster is ready to go with their first release of monsters. Truly super exciting. Let's get into this box as soon as we can. And presenting which monster we will pull from the box first, it is none other than... BOM! The Mammoth. Typically one of the first monsters you will use in the game, and one of my most favorite. A very super cute Snow White Yeti. This one coming with a Melda Blend accessory. An item that the monster likes to have nearby. So these singing monster toys will sing solo or in harmony with friends, just like we would see in the game. Who will we be singing today with? Well, there are the other monsters on the back of the box. Six monsters included with Series 1. Monsters sing solo or in harmony. Each monster makes their own unique music, or they play with friends. Group more than one monster together, and they automatically harmonize and sing in sync with each other, just like in the game. Well, let's remove the battery tag first. And we can give him a quick try, make sure he's running. I would say that's a solid success. Sounds very straight from the game. And now let's release the mammoth from its protective shell. Out of the pack with the mammoth, I think my first play monster toy. So far I can say they are doing very well. It's always a little tricky getting the full effect of a fuzzy animated gaming creature exactly how I would imagine a mammoth to be on the table to look like. And there is a little bit of articulation too. We've got arms that move, and we have a little leg movement in the hips too, kind of giving him a good bowing effect. The Melda Blend item included is also a neat find. These small items will really dress up your My Singing Monsters stage. Well, to turn on our mammoth, on the back here, we have a switch. I've gone to off mode now. In the box, we had Try Me. So simply switch over to on and a little red light appears. Then press the button and Mammoth will sing. And do so for a long, long time. Just click the button again to get him to stop singing for a moment. And the volume is solid too. I was a little wary if they were going to be quiet but he's bringing out a good booming sound, so should play really well with other monsters. And let's see some more monsters. So many epics to choose from in this first series. I think I'll go how I found them in game. Next up, the Noggin, with a traveler sign. The Noggin is kind of one of those forgotten, important My Singing Monsters. Keeps the beat going. A rock-like, troll-like dude. Very important for setting the song. On the back of the card, looks like each card is very similar. We'll once again pull our battery tab out. These may or may not be already pulled depending on how you got yours. These monsters will be found on Amazon.com, by the way. And a quick try me. For some reason, that doesn't remind me of the game as much. I'm going to have to snooze all my monsters to see if that sound is accurate. But I think it will do just fine for tabletop play. Let's open up! <music> and 
and introducing the noggin out of pack. Unfortunately, the traveler sign is kind of tippy right now. It's falling over. I'm going to have to play around with it to see if I can get it to stand. Maybe just bend it right. Oh, I didn't want it to fall over. Not as important as the noggin, though. Noggin from all sides looking very much like a noggin. For articulation, we have hands that can tap on to the top of his head. The noggin is mostly a tiny monster with very little animation anyway, so it works pretty well. Okay, well, let's flip on and see if we can work with the mammoth. Just like you would think, they're singing together. And that is only two of the monsters. I can only imagine the craziness that is going to ensue with more and more. I want to say the next monster you would typically get in gameplay would be... The Toe Jammer. Out of all the monsters in Series 1, this one is really funny. It almost looks like they have each toe on the monster's body hinged. Looking forward to seeing how that plays out. Also included, Directions to Nowhere item. Let's pull our tab. And let's open up. And the toe jammer out of pack. And yes, all those thumbs move. I'm a little curious if in pre-development if they were trying to get some of these pieces to move in music play. It might have been something that they were designing in and then stopped. I could have totally seen this guy raising and lowering while singing. and the beautiful music from the Toe Jammer. We have the directions to nowhere item, and this one stands really well, doesn't fall over. We'll make a great decoration piece. Let's listen to these guys sing. Play mode on, activated. I think now with three, all it takes is just pressing one, and they should all go off. And there we go with three. The song is getting bigger. All right, we need some melody now. We've got the basics for a song all ready to go. Who is the best in singing a song? And that would be the Furcorn song. This singing monster's notes will be in your head forever. The Furcorn comes with a Smunkin' patch. Remove the battery dab. Let's hear him real quick. That's our fur corn. And opening up. The fur corn being one of the more iconic singing monsters in the group. You see the fur corn often in promotional material just because it's so terrifyingly cute. A grassy, pill like body with feet and a voice that would soothe angels. As for articulation, we can move these feet up for a seating position and rotate the little leaf on his head. Well, we have to hear this one. I know the song is going to be terrific now.
And we have a full-scale song going on. They just keep adding and adding just like the game. It's so perfect. I think the Furcorn so far might be the most independent singer so far if you're looking for just one to place on your desk and sing to your office friends. We still have a couple more monsters to add. Next up, the Ma with the Wild Bagpipe. Let's see if we can give a quick listen. Oh, this one will really add to the song. Too bad they couldn't get the tongue on this one to move. I'm also thinking that they didn't put moving parts on these because that in itself would create more noise. So had the toe jammer been popping up and down, you would have been hearing that sound and it would have been kind of destroying the song. So the more I think about it, the more I'm glad these are not moving. Let's get the maw out. By the way, each monster toy comes with an exclusive in-game reward code inside. Looking forward to adding some things to my game, I hope. So the Ma outside of the box decorated how you would think a Ma would be looking. A Ma, another one of those fuzzy monsters, a little bit difficult to represent in toy, but they've done real well. We've got that classic Ma open gaping mouth with a tongue and teeth, and some good spotting going down the Ma's pink fuzzy body. We have the wild bagpipe included, a nice, very solid piece. And now it's time to hear the song. I had to do a quick reset on all of them to get them to go this time. I think I let the mammoth sit too long. So a quick switch off on all of them and back on should get them all singing together if you ever run into that situation. And one final series one singing monster of the day. The enormous, the singing, screaming, and brat. Pretty impressive the scaling going on with these two. The ant brat looks just as enormous in toy form as it does in gameplay. Remove our battery tag. See if we can hear it try me. <laughs> Always lying with this guy. All right, opening up. The Ent Brat, out of package, looking enormous. So green and mean. I see some articulation in there, probably in the arms. What about these horns? You could actually put those horns up if you wanted to. They're usually down though in gameplay. And there's a little bit of movement in the hips too. Kind of like the mammoth, how it can kind of hunch down, maybe like it's bowing a little bit. Uh, but you'll want him to stand nice and sturdy because he's such a big guy. Well, what do we got for sounds? Let's turn this on and hopefully we can get the whole group going. So there you go. As a group, they're starting to overpower each other a little bit. I think it's mostly coming from the Ma because of its high-pitched doo-dee-doo-doots. Because of that, you may want to try pulling him farther back 
than the others, which is kind of like the game. When you're moving around the screen, the closer you're going to get to a monster, the louder they are. So if you're on a tabletop and one of them feels overpowering, just pull them back farther and it may help you balance your song a bit. The end fret could be just a little bit louder and the mammoth a little bit softer too. But just like in the game, we are hearing the full Plant Island song. It'll be interesting to see how it goes when they add in Series 2 someday. Oh yeah, and the end brat also came with this really cool flappy flag. I think that's our best item of the series. Look at the claws on the stand there. That is a really cool item to see. And there is what we saw today for Series 1 of My Singing Monster from Big Blue Bubble and Play Monster. Thank you, Play Monster, again for sending over this free sample pack of My Singing Monsters. Six monsters available in Series 1. They can be found over on Amazon.com and run approximately $15 a piece. If you're a big fan of My Singing Monsters, these toys will sing for you. Pick your favorites or collect them all. Just don't forget to feed them. That's what I have to say about that.